Hey guys, it's Concierge Adrian, and today we are at the Forgotten Coast Sea Turtle Center learning all about sea turtles and turtles in Gulf County. So to give you a little bit of relation of where we are and how you can actually get here on your next Gulf County vacation, we are actually in Port St. Joe, and the easiest way to get here is go off of Garrison Avenue, and Garrison Avenue actually connects to Highway 71. It's almost like our last street before you get out of Port St. Joe heading north. So you want to get on Garrison and then it's off of 10th Street. So I believe that is your first left-hand turn all the way down and you'll see this beautiful building that says uh, Forgotten Coast Sea Turtle Center and it's absolutely such a cool place to go. And we're gonna go in, but before we go in, we're gonna show you a few of the residents that live here full time. Um, they have pretty much done a really good job with educating visitors and locals about not only the sea turtles that nest in Gulf County, but also the sea turtles that live here and also, again, just turtles in general. So over here, we're gonna meet one of their residents that live here full time. You can see he is hanging out in here and they have these habitats out here that are beautiful for these tortoises to hang out in, to spend some time, some shade, um, really cool habitats that you can actually see. They can crawl all throughout here and you can come out here, there's a bench, you can sit down and watch them eat and hang out with them for a little while. All right, so let's go inside. And this is a great uh, thing to do, like your first we got to check their hours, but one of your first days in Gulf County, if you can come out here to learn a little bit more about our sea turtles and why they're so important, this is just a really cool place to do that. And you can already see they have their nest updates for the 2020 season. So we are already up to 164 nests in Gulf County for the entire year. So make sure you keep those beaches clean, flat, and dark because we have a lot of sea turtles nesting on our beaches. So we want to make sure they have an easy um, path to the beach. So let's go in. Hi, how are you guys? Good, hello. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> and so this is Jessica, and she is pretty much our turtle expert, person. is what we, <laughs> turtle person in Gulf County. So I'm going to let her just kind of tour us around the Sea Turtle Center. If we have any questions, we'll ask. And um, Madison's behind the camera, so if we have any questions on the live video, she'll ask. And We'll get some questions answered today. Oh, well, welcome. Well, thanks for coming over and showcasing our Turtle Center. Did you guys meet Sunny and Shiloh out front? We did. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. All right. So over here, this is where they sleep at night. And then in here, we have our two Diamondback Terrapins. This is Thelma and Louise. And they are our uh, Terrapin ambassadors. So these guys are native to St. Joseph Bay. And we do have them here. I call them our other sea turtles. So they do live in salt water. These guys are living in freshwater, but you'll find these guys around here too in Gulf County and they're pretty special. They got some really cute smiley faces and we just love them mm -hmm. as much as we love our sea turtles. <laughs> um, we've got uh, some different exhibits over here, a trash exhibit. So this is a fun little game. You can learn about nurdles, which are little microplastics. And then we've got some different pieces of trash that we found on the beaches here. Um, these are sea turtle bites, these little diamond shaped patterns here. So. We like to show people kind of the effects of, you know, trash in the water and, and some books and then our lighting display. So this is to kind of help illustrate the proper lighting um, for nesting season. So sea turtles can get disoriented by bright artificial lights. And so we encourage everyone to turn their lights out or use turtle safe lights during nesting season. And so we've got turtle safe light bulbs here and we've got flashlight covers. So if you're out on the beach at night, I highly recommend leave the flashlight at home and you can see the beautiful celestial sky. We are so fortunate here in Gulf County to be able to see the Milky Way. You can see the Milky Way here. Like, yeah, it's true. We have very, very limited light pollution in our area. Yeah. So it makes it beautiful night skies every single night. Yep. Yeah. And we really want to preserve that. But if you have to have a light, come by here and get a free flashlight filter. You can put these over your flashlight and it makes the light turtle safe so that it doesn't disorient our mamas and babies crawling around out there. Um, we've got some interesting bird information here, and then we have a nice little collection of different specimens. These are different kinds of turtles that are found around here in this area. Some sea turtles, some 
uh, tortoises, freshwater turtles, um, some information about what we do on turtle patrol and in cold stun events. That's our wintertime activity. We have a large population of juvenile turtles that live in St. Joseph Bay and it does get cold here because we're in North Florida and so when that happens the turtles stun because they're cold-blooded so basically they're alive but they can't move their muscles because they're too cold so volunteers go out and pick them up and then carry them. We take them to a rehab facility in Panama City where they'll warm them up and bring them back. So that's Perfect. our winter time stuff. So what kind of turtles do we have? Can you name all the species okay. for us? Yeah. So we have five different species in Florida um, and all five have been found here at some point in some shape, form, or fashion. Our primary nesting species is the loggerhead sea turtle. So the vast majority of the turtle nests that are here on our beaches are loggerhead. We do occasionally get green turtle nests. So we are having some green nesting this year, mm -hmm. which is pretty exciting. And we had a leather bag. The leather bag nested here last mm -hmm. year. That was pretty exciting for us. Um, Kemp's Ridley turtles, those are the smallest and most endangered of all sea turtles. This is a Kemp's Ridley shell here. They do live in St. Joseph Bay, so that is another reason St. Joseph Bay is so special because these critically endangered turtles like it here, so it's really important. Um, and then we've also had the random hawksbill. Hawksbill turtles are generally in more Caribbean areas, but we have had a few of them show up here in St. Joseph Bay. So Yeah, and it's important to know, you've talked about our nesting sea turtles, but also we have a huge population of the turtles in St. Joseph Bay that yes. live here year-round. Yes, there's, those are the green turtles, mm -hmm. juvenile green turtles, and they're green because they like to forage on seagrass and algae and stuff like that. And since we have these wonderful seagrass beds in St. Joseph Bay, the little green turtles really love it here. It's a nice nursery ground for them. These guys are about 7 to 12 years old, and so they're just living in St. Joseph Bay, foraging on the seagrass and growing, getting big and strong, and then they migrate off to where they live as adults. Very cool. And can you give us some facts about sea, uh, nesting sea turtles, like mm -hmm. how, the, like anything cool about them nesting on our oh. on our beaches. Yeah, so we are the highest density nesting beach in Northwest Florida, which is like pretty pretty cool. Um, and so these turtles begin nesting about the middle of May, and then they'll continue to nest through about mid August. And each female lays on average about 120 eggs per nest and she'll lay anywhere from three to six nests in one season. So she'll lay multiple nests and mm -hmm. she'll come back every two weeks and lay another nest. Okay. Um, and then the, they take about 60 days to hatch. And so after about 50 days, we start to monitor them for signs of hatching. And when we see that the nest is hatched, then we dig up the contents and count you know, how many eggs were in there, how many hatched, mm -hmm. how many didn't hatch. Um, it's really interesting that uh, the sex of the babies is determined by the temperature of the nest. So you can think of it as hot chicks and cool dudes. So the warmer temperatures produce girls and the cooler temperatures produce boys. So here in North Florida, we kind of have cooler temperatures. We might probably produce a few more males than females. Okay, so very neat. cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, is there any questions on the video so far, Madison? Okay, mm -hmm. that's fine too. Um, if anybody wants to come to the Sea Turtle Center, what are your hours? How did, they get, how did anyone get in contact with you? Anything else about yeah. that in particular? It's kind of weird right now because of COVID. So we're open Thursdays and Fridays from 12 to 4 and then also by appointment. So if okay. people want to come visit um, at a certain time, then we can try to arrange that too. So, so perfect. So if someone mm -hmm. maybe wants to come in Monday after they've checked in on Saturday, you guys could accommodate that. Yeah. yeah. Because mm -hmm. I think it's really important to people to come here first. Yeah, maybe so before, they know. Yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> to learn a little bit about yeah. our, our population here and our nesting sea turtles. I think it's very important. Yeah. Um, I know that we do have a leave no trace ordinance and mm -hmm. we do a lot of education with you guys about that ordinance. So this is our highest density time for visitors and mm -hmm. turtles. Yes. So we both, we all have to work together to make sure our beaches are clean, flat, and dark for yep. those um, visiting our beaches. Yes, and we are so thankful. This has been a really great year. Everybody's doing a really good, good. job, at least on our beach, of moving stuff off of the beach at night. So good. the turtles have had it uh, had a nice clear path yeah. every night. So Wonderful. we just want everybody to keep that up yeah. and remind your friends and neighbors that it's pretty cool. And maybe you get lucky to see a turtle out there. And yes. if you do, just remember, give her space. and. You know, turn off all your lights, no flash photography or anything mm -hmm. like that, and um, just make it take Perfect. Perfect. Cool. Are you guys doing any turtle walks right now? We're not. We usually okay. do walk along programs, and I really hate that this year um, that we're not taking folks with us. But um, so in future years, next year we'll be back to that. So Perfect. we have a walk along program where people can come out on the beach with us, and they sort of shadow our volunteers as they're doing their morning survey, and they get to see all of the work that we do out there during nesting season. Perfect. So we should hopefully get. Do that we have soon. any idea if we'll do any evaluation? Nest, yeah. public evaluations? Yes, we can do okay. public nest evaluations. So once we get into hatching, um, 
we lost our first nest in Cristobal, mm -hmm. so our hatching season is going to be delayed a little bit. But around September and October, we Perfect. will be able to do some public evaluations. Okay, and how do people know about those evaluations? What's the best way for them to get in contact with you? Yeah, we don't have a lot of notice for evaluations because <laughs> yeah. there's only three days. We yeah. have three days notice <laughs> to do them. And, um, but we post that on our Facebook page, so you can follow us. We're facebook.com slash Gulf Turtle. Find Florida Coastal Conservancy and Forgotten Coastal Turtle Center. And um, then they can email us um, through that or contact us okay. through the website. Perfect, yeah. perfect. Any questions now, Madison? Okay, perfect. Well, okay. if you guys have any questions, we also have our sea turtle, not sea turtle, but our turtle trail. And this yep. is a bonus stop on our turtle trail. So mm -hmm. you can do the, all the turtle trails and learn about um, a little bit more about our turtles and then get a stainless steel straw from us at the, Gulf, at the Welcome yeah. Center. So definitely check out here. And I've totally forgotten since the last time I talked to you, we have a beautiful sea turtle fountain. Yeah, that <laughs> is. It should definitely be done too. Yeah, that <laughs> is at least there. The the turtles the are turtle as, culture, are yeah. on the fountain. So that is at Sailors Cove, um, kind of near George Core Park, which is where you typically have your festival. Festival, yeah, which would be this weekend. Sadly, we had to cancel that also because of COVID. But um, next year, June twenty seventh, twenty twenty one, in George Core Park, we will have our fifth yeah. annual. Forgotten Coast Sea Turtle Festival. So put it on your calendar. It's a great festival. Everyone loves it. And it's a lot That's of good. information about turtles. Um, and it's a really cool event. It's one of our yeah. favorite ones. Yeah. So we really enjoy it. <laughs> so if you guys have any other questions, you can contact to contact us here on this video. You can reach out to Florida Coastal Conservancy or the Forgotten Coast Sea Turtle Center. Found out all about the turtles in Gulf County. And we hope you have a good day. See you guys later. Thanks.